And just a bit more on that South Australia situation now. They have recorded two new COVID cases today as this state does enter day two of an expected seven-day lockdown. The South Australia Premier, Stephen Marshall, spoke a short time ago. There's two new cases uh, and, of course, um, I'm cautiously optimistic, but a huge number of uh, uh, results that have come in over the last 24 hours and that's what our report is to you today. But we're not out of the woods yet. There's still a huge number of test results to uh, come in. Uh, a huge number of people who are in quarantine, directed quarantine at the moment. And of course, our primary goal is to slow and stop the spread of this disease as quickly as we can. Meantime, the West Australian Premier Mark McGowan will reinstate a hard border with South Australia from midday Western Standard Time in response to the state's growing outbreak. He also spoke a short time ago. Western Australia is changing its border arrangements with South Australia to bring in a hard border. After discussions this morning with the Health Minister, the Chief Health Officer, the Police Commissioner, the decision has been made to reclassify South Australia as medium risk. This means only exempt travellers will be able to enter Western Australia from South Australia. And those who are granted exemptions must undergo tests within 48 hours of arriving and again on day 12. And they must quarantine for 14 days. The hard border comes into effect from midday today and brings South Australia into line with New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland. Tasmania and the Northern Territory remain at very low risk. There is one flight due to arrive from South Australia. That's at 5.10 this afternoon. I'm advised there are 87 passengers are scheduled to be on board, although the number is expected to significantly drop uh, following this announcement. Returning West Australians on that flight will be permitted to come in and quarantine and be tested. The message to West Australians who are in South Australia is to come home now. Border controls and lockdowns save lives, but it is vaccination that is the way out of this pandemic.